All right, hey there, I'm Fox 10 News Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith with an update on Francine, a tropical storm which is on its way to become a hurricane. It actually was named a tropical storm at 10 o'clock today. Now winds are already up to 65 miles per hour and it's over the western Gulf of Mexico. So let's take a look at this system. And here is a look at it up full for you here. You can see it churning off of Mexico and Texas. So we're definitely looking at the potential for a tropical system to have a big impact on uh, the Texas coast and possibly the Louisiana coast as it continues to head in the direction of uh, Louisiana and Texas. Right now it's right there off of Texas. So we are looking at that there and I'm setting some views here too, uh, here so I can put it up on the split screen and we'll get that going. So here's what we're seeing with this and I'll advance the graphic right now it's located here uh, off of Texas let me go ahead and pull up the coordinates here on this and we've got it as a 65 mile per hour tropical system so it is getting fairly strong this evening winds are at uh, 65 miles an hour the pressure of 993 millibars so the pressure falling some it's moving north northwest at seven it's over some really warm water it's in a fairly light shear environment for now and a very moist environment so the conditions favor some strengthening here with Francine as it works its way to the north and taking a look at the forecast track we do expect the motion to turn more northeasterly and that will bring it towards central Louisiana so here's the track here and you can see that it's well west of Mobile Pensacola even Pascagoula this will likely have a pretty big impact on central Louisiana. We may see some issues with tropical storm conditions all the way over to New Orleans with some power outages there and a lot of rain. And we're going to have some local impacts across the central Gulf Coast. Heavy rain and also isolated tornadoes, rough surf and possible uh, light, minor to moderate coastal flooding occurring in our area with this forecast track. Now the models, we've had situations where We've had a weak steering environment and we're not quite sure what a system might do. This is not that scenario. This is a very straightforward path. And so what I'm seeing here is the models are trending towards Louisiana and we have it. They're very tightly grouped. So there's a lot of agreement with these computer models and it looks like the ridge that is over Cuba, the mid-level ridge is going to be the primary steering mechanism. There's also an upper low over Texas, which should pull it north. And some of the dry air on the northern flank should actually help a little with this system too, and the steering with time. So let's look at what we're expecting as far as local impacts with the storm passing this far to our west. Now, we're on the wet side of it, so we're going to see some rain, very high rain chances Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to see a high rip current risk at the beaches. It's going to be too dangerous for swimming. Moderate coastal flooding and isolated tornadoes are possible. So all modes of rough weather associated with the outer rain bands of a what well, could be a significant hurricane. I mean, this could be a category two at landfall. Rainfall totals anywhere from three to five inches over our area. The highest totals will be over the Gulf and to our west, but rainfall totals should be fairly high uh, with this system as we are looking at really heavy rain, a lot of moisture involved. And right now it's all over the Gulf. We don't have much rain into the inland areas, just some light sprinkles this evening, very light showers. You can see how the, a lot of the rain is not making it ashore. We've got one little shower out towards Wilmer and a few showers over West Mobile and light stuff down over the coastal waters. This will be the type pattern we'll see even into tomorrow on Tuesday. We're not going to get a lot of heavy rain until Wednesday when this thing approaches. So how does that look in model form? Well, looking at our graph version of the future cast, you can see that uh, motion get becomes more northeasterly or even east northeasterly. And by daybreak on Wednesday, it's going to drag this thing over to central Louisiana, but it should have gained enough latitude that it will not come directly towards us. And you can see the uh, center of the storm working over to Louisiana there and tracking to the north. Then we have it coming ashore. And if this is the situation, the most intense impacts here are going to be Wednesday during the day and the rain really could be most intense Wednesday evening and that's when we're concerned about some tornadoes in the outer rain bands. We could get some of the more direct bands 
from this is it's making a transition to a non-tropical low. It's going to start drawing in dry air and that's why the bottom half of the storm looks to kind of fall apart. This is what the model is showing as of Thursday and note that most of the rain may be over with here by Thursday morning if it takes this kind of a track. Uh, it's got the center up around Jackson, Mississippi. We'll still see an onshore flow. Astronomical tides, meaning the tide, what it would normally be because the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon uh, are going to be very high on Thursday morning according to the calendar. So we have a high tide that's what we call a 2.3 foot tide. That is a really strong high tide both Wednesday morning and Thursday morning around daybreak. And then you add in some swell and a breeze out of the south and we're, we're going to see some coastal flooding. Expect issues on the west end of Dolphin Island, the Causeway, areas around Dog River and possibly Vila Battery with some coastal flooding. The typical areas of the central and western side of the area are going to see tides above normal. Now, this is not going to last into the weekend. This is a Wednesday thing, possibly a Thursday thing. We are in storm tracker alert mode to alert you to the potential of rough weather in our area for fringe impacts of what may be happening with Francine. And of course, if the forecast changes and we see a different forecast track, we're going to let you know right here on Fox 10. So that's an update on what we're seeing. We'll have the latest on Fox 10 News at 9 and 10 p.m. tonight. And you can check out our morning show tomorrow morning with meteorologist Matt Farentine. Thanks for joining us for this clip here on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else you may find it. Fox10TV.com.